Let us look at facility location planning using the center of gravity method. The Mumbai Baking Company currently has four retail locations within the metropolitan area of a major city. Currently, each retail outlet makes all of its own breads and pastries from scratch. In order to reduce cost and ensure consistency of the firm's products across all locations, the management has decided to build a central commissary where the products will be prepared and subsequently distributed to the four retail stores. The question now is where to locate the commissary. So of course the criteria to choose the location of the commissary would be at a place where the total cost of transportation to all these four store locations is minimized. Now we have been given the X and Y coordinates of each of these four store locations and we have also been given the quantity of product being sold at each of these stores. So now we have to find out where does it make sense to locate this commissary. So let us first understand what is meant by the center of gravity method. The center of gravity method is a quantitative technique that can be used to determine the optimal location of a facility based upon minimizing the transportation costs between where the goods are produced and where they are sold or redistributed. So the first step in the center of gravity method is to locate each of the existing retail operations on an X and Y coordinate grid map. And this grid map will help us in establishing the relative distances between these locations. So step one is to locate each of the existing facilities on an X and Y coordinate grid map and step number two is to find out the x and y coordinates of the new plant by taking the weighted average of the x and y coordinates of all the existing facilities so step number two is find out the x and y coordinates of the new plant by taking the weighted average of the x and y coordinates of all the existing facilities. So now let's look at the formula for finding the x and y coordinates of this new plant or new location. So x o is the x coordinate of the new location which we are trying to find is equal to 
the sum of the multiplication of x i and l i divided by the sum of l i and the y axis is y is equal to sum of the multiplication of the y coordinates and li divided by the sum of li now here x0 and y0 are the coordinates of the new facility x i and y i are the coordinates of the existing facilities and l i is the load to be transported between the existing facilities and the new plant load to be transported between the existing facilities and the new facility so let us look at this further by means of solving this given example so here we have completed step number one which is to locate each of the existing facilities on the x and y coordinate grid map so this is the x-axis this is the y-axis basically this exercise is being done to find out the x and y coordinates of the existing locations now let's move to step number two this step is to find out the weighted average of the x and y coordinates of the existing facilities now the formula is x0 is equal to the sum of the multiplication of the x coordinates of the existing facilities and the load being transported between the existing facility and the new facility divided by the sum of all the load which is being transported so let's find this out so let's say first we consider i as a so the x coordinate for a is 125 multiplied by the load being transported between a and the new plant or the new facility which is 1250 plus next is b so 250 multiplied by 3000 plus c 450 multiplied by 2750 plus 200 multiplied by 1500 and this whole divided by the sum of all the loads which is 1250 plus 3000 plus 2750 plus 1500 and this is equal to so let me pull my calculator here so 125 multiplied by 1250 plus 250 multiplied by 3000 plus 450 multiplied by 2750 plus 200 multiplied by 1500 so this is 2 four four 
थ्री सेवन फाइव ज़ीरो डिवाइड बाय वन टू फाइव ज़ीरो प्लस थ्री थाउजेंड प्लस टू सेवन फाइव ज़ीरो प्लस वन फाइव ज़ीरो ज़ीरो एटी फाइव हंड्रेड सो टू फोर फोर थ्री सेवन फाइव ज़ीरो डिवाइड बाय एट फाइव ज़ीरो ज़ीरो एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू टू एटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव टू एटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज द एक्स कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ द न्यू फैसिलिटी नाउ लेट्स मूव टू फाइंड आउट द वाई कॉर्डिनेट सो वाई कॉर्डिनेट अगेन विल बी द सेम sum of y i multiplied by l i divided by the sum of l i so this is equal to for a the y coordinate is 100 so 100 multiplied by the load being transported between the facility a and the new facility plus For B, seventy-five. So seventy-five multiplied by the load, which is three thousand. Plus, for C, three hundred multiplied by the load, which is two seven five zero. Plus, for D, three hundred and fifty. Multiplied by the load, which is fifteen hundred, and this whole divided by the load, which is one two five zero plus three thousand plus two seven five zero plus one five zero zero. So let me again pull my calculator. So hundred. Multiplied by one two five zero plus seventy five multiplied by three thousand plus three hundred multiplied by two seven five zero plus three fifty multiplied by one five zero zero. So the numerator is one seven zero 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 divided by the denominator and denominator we had found out earlier. Which is eight thousand five hundred. So this is equal to. So divided by eight five zero zero, two hundred. So the y coordinate of the new facility is two hundred. So let us locate this new coordinates or the new facility on this grid map. So two eighty seven point five, which is the x. coordinate will be somewhere here and the y coordinate which is 200 will be somewhere here so this will be somewhere around here this is the new facility with coordinates 287.5 and 200 